Hello beautiful people. Today we are going to look at our fingers. Yes, this is called as your little finger. As most of you know, it is also called as the pinky. The little finger is also called as the pinky. So normally when we want to agree on something or when you decide, you know, to mutually um, freeze on a decision, we do the pinky promise. We just interlock the pinky finger of our pinky finger with the pinky finger of your friend or the other person and you know we do this interlocking so this is called as the pinky promise and this is made when you decide uh, on a common issue or maybe you decide to keep something secretive for example they made a pinky promise to keep that a secret the next is the ring finger uh, it is obviously called as the ring finger because uh, you know, when you get married uh, in, in the Christian tradition, they wear the ring on this and therefore it is called as the ring finger. Uh, the next is the middle finger, uh, which is actually in the middle. There's two this side and two this side and therefore it is called as the middle finger. Uh, and I'm not going further into it. And the next is the index finger, which is also called as the forefinger. It is also called as the pointer. So when we speak, we say, uh, don't point fingers at me, there are three fingers pointing at you. It means like, don't try to find fault with me, just because there's only one finger uh, pointing towards me, but while there are three fingers pointing to you, which means you are none the better than me. So when, you, when we speak, we uh, say this. The next is the thumb finger, uh, which is a finger of, uh, you know, approval. When you agree on something, you use your thumb. And when you disagree, you use your thumbs down. So this is your thumb. Uh, and that's it.